hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to do a row count okay so row count is basically nothing but how many records are available inside the table okay so if you see here like total number of inquiries is total three rows so we are going to count that and show in a dashboard okay so let's move back and yep let me close everything as simple let's go inside the admin on the index.php so we are here on this index.php get back yep and here we'll tell total users then total services and total social media okay and now guys let's write the code here like php echo and close and let's create a get count function and pass your table name so basically the table name of user is users only so let me just confirm that so here it's users and then let's go with the social medias next column okay so here is that let me copy this paste again and let's control x and paste and now guys let us copy and paste here this is for the services so let's copy the service table name services you copied and paste it. done guys so now we need to create a get count function so let's go to our config folder inside function.php let's create one function a simple function so function the function name get count open and close curly brace and then guys first we are going to get the table name so dollar table name and we need the database connection also so let's get the connection here con and now let's validate this string that is your table name so use a validate function guys so before that create a variable table and use a validate function and pass the table name so once validated you can use this inside your query so let's write the query equal to double quotes select star from the table name so that is table and now let's execute this query so let's tell result equal to now run the query with the help of mysql like query function first the database connection and then your query guys and now you need to get the row count so let's create total count variable equal to mysql i number of rows function okay so inside this you pass your result so we pass this result and you can return this total count use the return and that's it total count and now it will able to find the data okay so now you can get back so let's refresh here perfect so here you see total number of users is 2 total services is 2 total media is 3 so let us check with the services here we have 2 users is 2 let me add one dummy user user some random digit phone number user at gmail.com password select role he is a user let's click on save okay and now let's go to the dashboard here you see total number of user is three perfect so now guys um, now let us fetch for the inquiries so in the inquiry case you can also get like i want only the status completed and cancelled or pending so these three options we have to show so you can come to dashboard now let us copy this start with the row and paste the column done and now guys here total inquiries okay inquiries and here you can directly get the inquiries table so you can copy the table name inquiries and paste so this will be your total number of inquiries and now i want the 
today inquiries only okay so for that you have to write the custom code here so let us just copy and paste and let's begin with php open and close so php open and php close now let me copy this line of code you guys and paste here so and paste here use a where condition and today inquiries okay where date so you have to select the date let's go to that inquiries table and select on the structure here is your date column let's copy this and paste here equal to today date okay so let's tell today date create a variable use a date function to get the today date so first will be your year and then month and then date okay and it's in hyphen let me see what we have stored here let's browse okay it's used hyphen guys okay so you need to uh, use a hyphen here and let's copy this and echo here okay so you need to echo how many count are there so now let's get back refresh so here you see today inquiry null zero so according to this date so on this 2023 7 of month and 8 is the date so let me give a static value here to test it so let's comment this date function and give a static value now refresh here you see total inquiry is 3 perfect guys so same way you can do for many other tables now let's save and one more thing guys if you want the completed total completed inquiries so same way just copy and paste total completed inquiries and here you have to mention the status and just add the value completed okay now here you refresh so you see that total completed inquiries are two so you just need to check here in your inquiries table here is your one and two okay id number one and three is the completed inquiries refresh perfect so now guys if you want with the cancelled also same procedure goes just copy and paste here and instead of completed cancelled and same copy and paste here so make sure you are entering this same spelling inside your column okay it's the same thing refresh here you see today cancelled request or not today you should mention total it's not the today cancel request it's total so let's mention here total and total completed total cancelled now refresh perfect guys so guys this is how we do a row count and dashboard in php so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with new topic of php so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share